In this video, we'll learn to follow the order of operators or operations. Operators or operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. They tell us what to do with the numbers. Like this one here, 5 times 4 or 5 lots of 4 plus 3 or add 3. And there we have 3 add 5 lots of 4, 5 lots of 4 take away 3, and 3 take away 5 lots of 4. So what do we notice? When I read this, I'm saying 5 lots of 4. So it is like a block that cannot be separated, because we cannot say 5 lots of nothing. So these two numbers go together because this is telling me how many lots of this or how many lots of this there are. So I imagine this like a block and I've shown it here. So it's five lots of four and then add onto it three. So that's like an add on thing at the end. So I've got the block five lots of four and add three. So that meant I did multiplication first and then add it. And that was the order of operations here as well because we had multiplication first and then addition. But does it mean that when we have addition first and multiplication, then do we do addition first or multiplication first? So let's have a look at that. So we've got as we said, 3 add 5 lots of 4. As you notice again, I'm saying 5 lots of 4. So that means I've got a block of 5 lots of 4. And I'm adding 3. Or I could have had that to begin with and then add 5 lots of 4, which is 20. So the total is 23 in both cases so what did we learn through this it was that we do multiplication before addition the order of them appearing in the sentence in the math sentence does not matter it could be that addition is first in the sentence or it's last but still we do the multiplication first. So 3 add 5 lots of 4 is like saying 3 add 20. So I'm working out 20 first, then adding 3 to make 23. What happens with subtraction? Which one do we put first, the multiplication or subtraction? So let's have a look. So again, 5 lots of 4 take away 3. So again, we have that block there, 5 lots of 4, which was 20. Take away 3 gives us 17. And here we have 3 take away 5 lots of 4. So again, 5 lots of 4 we work out in our heads or underneath. So I could do 3 take away 20. So, we're going into negatives here. If we have a temperature of positive 3 and that drops by 20 degrees, it's going to go into the negative. So, that's going to be negative 17 or minus 17. So, notice the difference when we had 3 in front, then we just changed the sign in front of the 17. So that was 17, this is negative 17 or minus 17. So again, even between multiplication and subtraction, multiplication takes priority. So we can safely say that multiplication comes first before addition and or subtraction. So 
what we're going to look at now is division and addition. So I'm going to write 20 divided by 4 add 3 and 3 add 20 divided by 4. Is it the same rule as with multiplication? So I read this as 20 divided by 4 add 3. So again, I imagine having 20 small cubes divided into 4 and that means I have 5. So 5 add 3. So I've done this for first to give me 5. Add 3. That gives me an answer of 8. And if I look at this one, we've got 3 add 20 divided by 4 again. So that means I'm dividing that 20 into something. So I haven't finished with that 20. I can't just take it for granted and add it to 3 because I'm going to do something to it. I'm going to share. I'm going to divide it. Whereas addition means you can add it on top. So what I'm going to do is 3 add 20 divided by 4, which is 5. So that means we've got 3 add 5 to give us again 8. So division and addition, when we've got them in the same sentence, we do division first. Is it the case with subtraction though so I will put down 20 divided by 4 minus 3 and 3 minus 20 divided by 4 so again 20 divided by 4 I'm doing something to the 20 I haven't finished yet so that means I'm sharing that to give me 5 5 take away 3, that gives me 2. And we've got 3 take away 20 divided by 4. So we do the division first. So that gives us 3 take away 5 to give us minus 2. Or negative 2. So again, division has priority over addition and subtraction. So we know that they will come first and addition and subtraction will come after, will come next. But between them two, is there any rule of priority? And between them two, which one comes first? So that's what we're going to be looking at now. So let's take an example. We've got 20 divided by 2 times 5. So let's try doing division first. So 20 divided by 2 gives us 10. And then times 5. That gives us 15. Whoa. And another example for addition and subtraction. So 4, take away 3, add 5. So when we have multiplication and division in one math sentence, we just follow the order of which one comes first, just like reading a sentence. So 20 divided by 2 is 10 times 5 is 50 and addition and subtraction so 4 take away 3 is 1 add 5 is 6 so just follow that order so to summarize multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction and we've looked at the reasons why within multiplication and division they are equals 
and you just follow the order that they present it in just like reading the, a sentence and the same thing happens within addition and subtraction just follow the order they are presented in sometimes we have some of the numbers in brackets and that changes things that changes the answers that we get so we had this five lots of four at three and it gave us 23 because multiplication came first but if i have five lots of open the bracket four add three and then close the bracket so that means i've got four at three together within the bracket so i've got to do that first so i have five lots of four add three which is seven so five lots of seven gives me 35 so brackets come before multiplication and addition so again over here although multiplication comes first when you don't have brackets if i have three at five in brackets and then times four i'll do the brackets first so three at five giving us eight times four gives us 32 and five lots of four minus three that means five lots of four minus three is one five lots of one gives us five and if i had here let's say three minus five in brackets times four so three minus five or three take away five gives us minus two minus two times four or four lots of minus two gives us minus eight and if i have 20 divided by four add three and that is in brackets so we'd be looking at 20 divided by seven so that's about 2.9 nine and on the other side if we had three at 20 in brackets divided by four so that would mean 23 divided by four which is 5.75 and 20 divided by four minus three that is 20 divided by 1, which gives us 20. And finally, if we had 3 minus 20 in brackets, then divided by 4, that means we do 3 minus 20 first, which is minus 17. And then we'll divide that by 4. So that will give us minus 4.25. Don't worry too much if you can't work with those negative numbers. It's just here to illustrate with examples what it means when you actually have brackets in some of the math sentences.